This video is to demonstrate the functionality of the web application I have built for my application development module. So to start, in order to interact with the software, you need to use the menu built in. This is open by clicking the tab in the bottom right of the screen as seen here, opening the web menu. From here you can type in any location within the UK, mainly cities and towns. So let's do Derby. Upon clicking go, the service will construct an AJAX query to send to the server, make a GET request, and it will return a JSON object, which returns the time, the cloud percent, the rain, the temperature, and some other values. So this works for various cities in the UK, it seems so new. Uh, let's try Swindon. slightly lower cloud percent at the same time. A note, um, sometimes the data sent from the API is slightly out of date. So the update time is current, but the data is slightly out of date. That's a quirk of the API I used, but it's very rare. It only occurs in cities such as Newcastle. Okay, so if the user types in a city or town that doesn't exist, let's say random string of letters and presses enter, it will display this. This clearly demonstrates that the user does something wrong as this kind of menu isn't accessible anywhere else. This is the full demonstration of the get command. To use the put, post and delete commands we have to go to the admin menu. This is accessed through typing admin into the location bar. On problem pressing go it will take us to the admin menu. This allows us to perform all of the, all of the latter requests and a get all request to see all the data in the database. These, these are all done using Ajax requests and are quite simple to use. So the get all, you simply need to press it and it will return all of the current data within the database. The get request, you need to type in a location name that's in the database and click get and it will load it into this bar on the left. To do a put request, which is the equivalent of an update, we need to have a full set of data on the left. So we're going to use this Derby set that I just got and we're going to change it to our three millimeters of rain. So the put has been complete, so now we can check that in the get. If we go to the derby, the rainfall is now 3 millimeters. For the post, we need a full data set. But for both the put and the post, we want to make sure that the timestamp's up to date. As if it's greater than 4 hours ago, then the server's automatically going to delete it upon a get request for it, as this is the way the server works. So what we're going to do, in order to have an up-to-date timestamp, we're going to get the data for Derby. And we're going to create a new data set. So using this data set, we're going to type, we're going to call it test data 1. Actually, no, we're going to call it 1 because the server does not accept numbers as location parameters. So the update time we're going to leave the same. We're going to say it's 5 millimeters of rain, no millimeters of snow, because even though the server can can give and receive snow data, the visuals aren't actually implemented yet. The cloud percent can be 100. And the temperature is going to stay the same and the sunrise and sunset are going to stay the same. So we're going to pop, pop that data into our database. As seen, if we go to test test, room 45, snow 40, cloud percent 100. All of the data is here. And then, for example, if I want to delete the Derby entry, then all I need to do is put in the location name. No other parameters are required. And now Derby is out of the database, as seen here. So the test fields are still here. So if we go back to the database, as you can see, it's back to the normal screen. The By default, there's a slightly dimmer sky colour when no data has been inputted. This is done to have more of an impact when going between this screen and your first search if it's the daytime. It makes it more clear that something has changed if the times are quite similar. So now we're going to type in the data set we had created which was test. Test if I remember correctly. So as you can see the cloud percent is at 100, the time is at the current, the rain percent is I mean, the rain millimeters is correct, and everything works 
just the same. The character in the middle follows the mouse. This isn't actually interactable by clicking, but through my research into kids' applications I found that this kind of user feedback that's constant um, gives the person running a more rewarding experience. That is my application and hope you enjoyed.